lab is giving the hospital such a black eye. You need some security up in there. No, they've done a complete overhaul since the first instance is with Clint. And look who's most upset now. I read Brody all wrong. I cannot believe he took things that far. I feel bad for Brody. You feel bad for the guy who broke Jesse's heart? And then lied to her sister to get her to love him, and all the while he was stealing some kid from his real father? You could have another heart attack. I mean, you do know that, right? I'm just curious. Why do you feel bad for Brody? Because he made a big mistake, and now he's going to have to pay for it, and I know that feeling. Yeah, well, tell me about it. Oh, Vicky's right. you got to calm down. He's just mad at himself. You know, I had a gut feeling that there was something wrong with this marriage. I never should have gone along with it. I don't think it would have made much difference. Oh, God, it's hard to feel so helpless. You just think you want to do everything you can to spare your kids? Mm -hmm. Do you think this family will ever have a calm, normal wedding? At least nobody's pulled a gun yet. Actually, I understand how Tina feels. I can wring Brody's neck for what he's done to Natalie, but he loved her, and he loved Liam. Now he's lost them both. <sighs> And it never works out when you lie about a child's father. Really? All I'm saying is I learned my lesson, all right? I mean, I know how hard that was on you when I said that Al was our son, but we had CJ. I mean, but poor Brody, I mean, after that last time, you know, when... Go ahead and say Brody felt cheated when I changed Ryder's test. And he lost that baby. Mr. Ford. What do you think? I really messed up, didn't I? I mean, I ruined the whole wedding with my big announcement. Honey, what else were you supposed to do? I don't know, the right thing. Whatever that is. Look, I was just trying to give Natalie the perfect day, and I came in here with the paternity test, all of a sudden the wedding's off, and nobody's even noticing the flowers. They were very nice, Tina. Well, and I had these incredible canapes made in the shape of the couple's initials, and they're going to be at the reception. Give me strength. I mean, no one is even going to see them. Yeah, people may still want to eat. I heard something about food. I think we should stick around. Yeah, I do. I don't like the look on Clint's face. I was just trying to make it up to Natalie, and now look what happened. Darling, you did the right thing, okay? You gave Natalie the truth, and you stopped her from marrying a man who was lying to her. Your sister is right. Okay, I say we still have a reception. There's all that champagne, all those canapes. We shouldn't let this be a complete waste. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry. I mean, we managed to get you to the church, and now there's no wedding. Uh, maybe there will be. Hey guys, we're taking off. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about the wedding. I'm getting used to how your family was. Oh, well, sometimes they do come off. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Well, we mm -hmm. will be here then. Destiny told me that you helped her with her college essay. Thank you. Oh, she didn't need much help. Yeah. And I was happy to do it. She needs to know that she has a future in college. Well, we're going to make sure that happens, Sean. Matthew would want that too. Justin, you said they're trying a new uh, therapy protocol? Perhaps? Yeah, yeah. He starts next week. Matt's going to come around. We know it. Your son's tough, and he's got the whole Evans family praying for him. Thank you for that, Sean. And when Destiny's child is born, we'll all be family. So how is there going to be a wedding? Because if you think my Natty is going to be marrying Brody now, you better think again. Actually, that's not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that things change, and that people change. Not Natty's right hook. I mean, Brody was real lucky that she didn't deck him. For the better. I know. So what do you say? Excuse me, I am completely lost. Oh, my, 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 my. What? <laughs> Tina Lord Roberts, would you do me the honor of marrying me again? <laughs> <laughs> You better be serious, because if you're not... I love you, Tina. That's never changed. And I know you love me. Hold on. Oh, my God. Come on, Vicky's here. My pa's here. God knows when he's gonna get sprung again. We got Bo and Nora here. Everyone's here. What do you say? You mean get married here right now? Yes. Why not? Hey, you said it yourself. You set up a perfect wedding. Why let that go to waste? 
And you know what? We just might make it work this time. Of course, it'd be great if the kids were here, but I'm sure they'll understand. What do you say? You want to get married? Yes! <laughs> uh, anybody still up for a wedding? Uh, sure. Why not? Great. Uh, you don't mind sticking around? Uh, you got it. Beautiful. All right, uh, Padre, if you don't mind, from the top. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, there's been a slight change of plans. Would you please marry my sister and her ex-husband instead? Right now. Yes. I mean, I'm ready. I oh, no, wait. It is my lipstick smeared? I'm sorry. I, I can't marry you two. Uh, you don't have a marriage license. No. Is Natalie and Brody treated? Honey, it's all right. Look, we'll just do it tomorrow once we get a wedding license. The flowers will still be fresh. Oh, what if you change your mind? I won't. You know, this is just like my dream, the perfect wedding. And then the government butts in. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to try something. Oh, please, anything you can do. What do you think? Let's stick around for it. You want odds this wedding happens? I'll give you five to three that we go home hungry and with our gifts. No way. So you think they'll pull it off? Oh, I've seen that look in Cord's eye before. I got a hundred bucks right here, says it happens. You're on. Oh, thank you for taking my call, Senator. Uh, yeah, it didn't happen. Uh, long story. Dorian, I'm so sorry. I need another favor, and once again, it's for someone else who's not one of your favorites. Dorian hates you, too? Oh, it's something else we have in common. Oh, no, honey, not me. The witch hates Rex. He left her daughter for Gigi. I mean, that makes sense. It's not going to happen. Well, Dorian said she would try. What, are you going to trust Dorian twice in one day? Hey, try not to look quite so happy that this wedding might not happen. Well, I just don't want to see my son going over a cliff. Okay, if you love your son, you better find a smile when that marriage license comes through. Yeah, I asked your mom and she said yes. Tonight, that's right. Uh, uh, hold on, she's right here. Oh, your dad is just a hopeless romantic. I know, you're happy for us? He is, it's CJ. Sarah. Oh. oh. Hey, buddy. Honey, isn't this just the best news ever? I was outside, I was getting some air, and a messenger brought this. Well? No, it's for Vicky. Looks like our favorite senator came through again. <laughs> Let's get you two married! Well, looks like you gotta pay up, big man. With this family? Uh-uh. Not until the ceremony's over. Okay, I can wait. Oh, thank you so much, Vicky. but can I ask you one more favor? She hasn't done enough. <laughs> Will you be my maid of honor? Oh, of course. And Paul, I know how you feel about Tina, but you're the best man I know. Cord, I'd be honored. Really, Clint? As long as you make my son happy, that's all that matters. <laughs> and you, Cord, if you love Tina, don't waste another minute without her. Do I see what I think I see? I was worried that Clint was going to take his frustration with Brody out on Tina. I can't believe Brody uh, lied to Natalie like that. He loved his son and he loved Natalie. Yeah, and so did John. But by the time that he could forgive her for lying to him, she already moved on. Gosh, that sounds so familiar to me. But, hmm. well, let's hope they find their way back to each other better, eventually. Better late than never. <laughs> Hopefully faster than we did. Yeah. <laughs> I do. And do you, um, Tina? I I'd like to say my own vows. By all means. I, Tina Lord Roberts, take you, Cordero Roberts, to have and to hold forever. Because I swear this is going to be our best marriage ever. Because I will never lie to you. I'm never going to cheat on you. And I am never, ever going to yank that ball away from you again. Cord, I promise I am going to make you so proud of me. And I'm going to stand right by your side, for richer, for poorer, 
in sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Oh, and this time, I really mean it, I swear. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah, I have the rings, please. Oh. Um. Oh, I have Natalie's ring. Oh, and I got Brody's. Oh, can we? Yeah, I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow them. No, and maybe we can get me a nice big diamond later. <laughs> By the powers vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. This one happy couple. Now, all you gotta do is let Natty get to Johnny on time and make my Rexy happy. <laughs> 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 